So, what's up, y'all? Greetings on this good Tuesday morning, October the 3rd. Back again with another video. <sighs> Breaking generational curses. Okay? So, what I want to address today, or undress, is the fact that my brother, Frank, LP, OG, OG, LP, <laughs> look here, bro. The narrative you trying to spin, oh, before I get into this happy birthday, you know what I'm saying? This is a birthday present from your sister. And this consists of a gift of truth to set you free. Bruh, why are you running around telling people that I told on you? What's that about? Like, y'all keep coming with these false narratives, but y'all don't see that everybody can see that y'all ain't providing no proof. First of all, you don't even talk to me. So, for you to be out here spreading lies, saying that I told on you, where's the proof? Ain't it something called a deposition? So, being that your narrative is that I told on you, Come with some proof. Oh, you're going to have to. You're going to have to. Happy birthday, bro. You're going to have to come with some proof. Because if you said that she told on you and you can't prove it, then we really going to tell on you. How about that part? <laughs> huh? How about that part? And I already called you niggas out from Detroit. So don't make it a city war because you don't know which city I'm talking about. But the one you don't want to see, that's for damn sure. So I already said Detroit. Look, Frankie, that's, that's some dirty shit, boy. So let me see something here. You a gangster. You a, you a Houston H-Town nigga. You sound like Pump, Pimp C and Bumby and what's that nigga's name? Devin the Dude. Devin the Dude. Zero. And, and motherfucking... Uh, Slim Thug, all them niggas rolled up into one, bro. I don't know how many TV shows you watched growing up in the military with your mama and your stepdaddy, and your daddy sending uh, child support to him, to her. I don't know how much, how many fights you got into in the hood, how many scraps you been in. Put that on your show. Bring some niggas where you grew up at, and let them talk about how you used to scrap. Negative. Because it don't exist. And you ain't from the hood. You've been spoiled all your life. Both of your parents was in the army. You were army brat. But now all of a sudden you were hood. Please. Please. Deposition, cuz. And why you always trying to talk about Unshay and his lifestyle, I tell you what. Won't you square up with him? <laughs> Yeah, you won't say, ah, oh, he's sweet, and he's this, and he's that, and you know what I'm saying? But I bet you won't square up with him. See, you do a whole lot of talking. You know what I'm saying? And you better provide that deposition, because I want to know who told on you. That part, because you'll sacrifice your sister for who? Who? You know what I'm saying? You saving somebody, not only yourself, but you saving somebody else. And I want to know. Oh, my fault. We already got the deposition. Ho ass nigga. But you going to apologize to my wife. And maybe you can move on with your life. But if not, if I pull your other jacket home, boy. You might not be safe with the people you fuck with. So who goes to prison. For them things. You know what I'm saying? Three of them. 
and only do two years. So you tell me who told. See, you're going to quit playing with me. For real. Because you be sending out, oh, I miss my sister. Whoop the whoop whoop. But then at the same time, you try to get a kill. So I'm not going to play with you. The truth of the matter is, I was there for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you won't run around hollering about, I'm a snitch. Well, if I'm a snitch, you're going to have to prove that. Yeah, and, the, and the crazy part is, let's keep it 1,000. She's been around and knows a lot of shit about a lot of different people who have done her way worse than you. If she was going to tell on somebody, she would have told on somebody of importance. <laughs> Nigga, I couldn't even remember your name the other day when I was talking. You ain't no motherfucking body, man. Won't you change your shit around? Thank God, pray, and turn your shit around, bro. Maybe you can live a good life. And be the man Miss Felicia yeah, raised, raised you, you to be. be. A man of God. Instead of belt loop holding Instead of a man daddy. of fraud. Belt loop hold for your daddy. You see what I'm saying? For real. Your daddy told <laughs> your sister, nigga, that he didn't even like the fact that you had his, his name. name. Frank Hall Sr. said that he don't even like the fact that you named after him. Matter of fact, he said he wish you changed your name. That's how ashamed he is of you. And then you running around here on a world, world tour. You know what I'm saying? And you not even there for your children. Come on. Yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, you said she's a snitch. So I'm a snitch. Right? Now you know when somebody calls somebody a snitch and they don't have the proof. You know what that is, right? So Sean, you with it? Sean, you listening? Yeah, he's listening. He just started following me on Facebook. So I know he's listening. Now, y'all can play the crazy role if you want to, but I think it's funny. Now, now, it's, now I'm not even worried about y'all no more. It's funny. It's, it's hilarious. Funny. Now, now it's healing. We're healing now. We're healing. We're not doing videos to to rant or nothing like that. Or make somebody feel like we depressed or hurt. We got children to take care of. We're moving on with our life. See, thank you, I say. I'm going to keep it real. If it wasn't for you, I say, we wouldn't know y'all was still plotting. We thought y'all left well enough alone. But obviously, well ain't enough. And I, and you know, I'm addressing this or undressing this because I'm tired of hearing that shit. Yeah, this is serious accusations we making. Come on. We're making serious accusations. And if they're not true, then you're going to have to come after us. I told you, I'll make you come after me. You thought I was playing, didn't you? I oh, know, I played all y'all. Y'all thought whatever you thought about me, and you could say whatever you want about me behind closed doors, but I ain't never seen none of y'all to my face say anything other than sir. And little Frankie, you've never told me to my face. That's how much of a coward you are. If I told on you, why didn't you? And the rest of your family is cowards. Your uncle, your daddy, and all them. How come y'all ain't called her and, and asked her? Yeah, we know y'all know. Y'all be sitting at y'all little mason meetings with y'all aprons on with no drawers on, nigga, talking about my wife. Little Frankie, you at the meeting too? But you a hood nigga. See, don't make me get your scalp split way before I see you. But instead, you running around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On a world tour. But in the meanwhile, your daughters are hurting, man. And they don't even like you. They don't even respect you. That's the truth. You worry about how your daddy feel. <laughs> or maybe you plotting on him too. Boy, I tell y'all, y'all got a messed up rat's nest, man. So let me tell you something, OGLP. Instead of being worried about me, won't you worry about your family, your real family, your children?
Because that's what you got to worry about. Yeah, do you don't think they see you? They see you. And they don't even respect you. You foul, bruh. But you're going to have to provide their proof. Because I'm sick of it. You've been spending this narrative for way too long. But you the one that went to prison for them things and got out in two years. Where they do that at? Houston. In Houston. <laughs> they tell Mike. Yeah. So you're going to have to get that proof out. So we can know who really told on you. Because it wasn't me. And you know that. You know that. But it's convenient for you to spin that narrative. Spin a narrative to sacrifice your sister. Shit, if he'll sacrifice his own daughters, you know he ain't got no problem sacrificing me. He don't give a fuck. He's Frank Hall Jr. He's trying to be the next Frank Bank. <laughs> What's, what does that require? What 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 does that cost? Neglecting right. your children right. and sacrificing them. That's what it requires. Like what is that? What is that trade off? What's the trade off of that? Neglecting your children and sacrificing them. And the sad thing about it is you didn't even have to go that route, bro. You just wanted to go that route. You yeah, chose you to purpose. go that route. You did it on purpose, bro. You did it on purpose. Feel me? I told you about Sean. I told you not to fuck with him. You chose to do that. So that's on you. You know what I'm saying? You think that's your friend? He don't even know how to be a friend. He snakes everybody. Anybody that ever cared about him, he snakes them. That's what he do. But that's what you do. So birds of a feather <laughs> flock together. Without wings, that makes you a snake. A bird without wings becomes a snake. Now here, just so you know I ain't all the way evil, won't you guys just change our life around? You know what I'm saying? Once I just, you know, whatever you got going on, go to church, do something, go to a mosque, do something. But these little imaginary games you're playing, delusional, living, we're not doing that over here, so you're going to get hurt. So I'm asking you nicely, kindly, like almost praying for you, Instead of praying on you. Keep my name out your mouth, bro. Find you something else to do. Because this fantasy world you living in, bro, she don't need to be in that. I say you too. And most importantly, you, Mr. Hall. Because you're the ringleader. You're the puppet master of all this. You like playing with people's lives and stringing people around. You play your own children against each other. That's sad. Is that what your daddy did? Now I'm going to ask another question. Why? Why are y'all doing this? Has anybody ever sat back <laughs> and asked that motherfucking question? Why are we doing this? Not to my wife, but your own existence. What do you hope to gain from this? A plane? A house? You see what I'm saying? What, do you, what is that? They care about things. They don't care about people. But, baby, what is that? I'm asking the question, why? See, that's, that's important. Because they work for the devil. Because before you come for me, you better understand. Yeah, my wife's very wise. Before you come to me, you better know why you're doing what you're doing. Trust to believe that. That's the gospel truth right there. You better know whose you are. You running around state to state with all these <laughs> Negroes. You know what I'm saying? Your daughter's hurting, bruh. They hurting. I, 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 feel, I feel bad for them. And for I've real. seen both of them young ladies. I've met both of them. You know what I'm saying? I've looked into their eyes. And I told them, if they ever needed me, they could tell me anything. Listen to me closely. And they believe that and know that to be the truth. Listen to me real closely, boy. Both of your daughters know that I care about them. Would you agree? Come on, baby. Let's yeah, keep it 1,000. Because they know their auntie care about them. Let's keep it 1,000. They know. They know what's up. Let's keep it 1,000. You know what I'm saying? I spent time with them girls. For real. I might not have had a whole lot of money. You know what I'm saying? But they know I spent time with them. 
the way y'all trying to assassinate my wife's character, like, that's deep, man. I'm trying to get her killed, right? I, I don't, it's, that, you know, that perplexes me. Maybe you ain't thought it all the way through. <laughs> Maybe you not as smart or L-P-O-G for real. <laughs> Maybe you're not. And maybe people that deflect shit onto other people, that's what they do. So maybe you told. Yeah. Maybe. We won't know because you got the paperwork. It was your case. You got the deposition. So produce So produce it. Produce it. Before we do. You got a day, homeboy. Happy birthday. <laughs> Ain't it funny? Now, we ain't off you, Frank. Ain't no let up off you. You the reason all this is going down. For real. You the main, re you the man, right? The man takes all the hit. <laughs> if you the quarterback of the team, you did? So everybody's on your team, y'all get a pass. Yeah, for me. But the quarterback don't get no pass. Because if y'all lose, you're going to take all the responsibility. It's funny, the puppet master don't never take responsibility because you don't never see him. You got everybody else out on stage dancing around. That's what y'all look like to me. A, a stage theater. <laughs> I've been to Broadway plays less interesting than this. <laughs> yeah, I've been to New York. I got people in New York too. In Harlem, Brooklyn, the Bronx. I got people all over the country. Read between them lines. So I'm not threatening you. It's a promise. If anything happens to my wife, ain't none of y'all gonna be comfortable. Just understand what I mean. At all. Ever. Salah. Salah. No weapon form shall prosper. You know what I'm saying, bro? I really, really hope you get your life together. And really see what's important, man. Yeah, man, because we ain't playing, man. We love y'all, man. I Even know, I know Miss Felicia cool. raised you better than that, bro. Yeah, no, I know she, we love she instilled morals and values. If, if and, and most importantly, y all, y all God in your life. And she introduced God in your life. Yeah, and you being disrespectful to your mom. Absolutely. Bro. And you know what? Your mama called me right before she passed away. And, we're, and basically... What she told me to do is to help you, man. And you For know real. how you repaid your sister? You put her in the situation that you that she's in, and then you said she snitched. What the fuck? Boy, that's a shame. Any so, nigga around you, any nigga around you, need to be looked at suspectly. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a nigga, not no man, because I know ain't no man around you. Mm -hmm. But any nigga around you, needs to be looked at suspectly. So you got to get that proof out, bro. They work out, boy. Because now it's on you. I'm saying, you saying that I'm snitching. I'm saying that I'm not. And the only way to determine who's telling the truth is to provide the proof. And the person that's bringing on the allegations you. is the person that needs to provide the proof. Because my word is my bond. She's taking care of her children right now. What are you doing? What are you doing? So, yeah. You know, apples don't fall too far from the tree. And, and I don't even, and, I, don't, and I, I ain't even for sure. I'm an apple of y'all. And all the fruit comes from the root. I'm not even for sure. I'm on the tree of the house because I don't act nothing like y'all. I don't even move like y'all. And Dad said I wasn't his anyway. So it might be some that truth to that. So we're going to need that proof, Mr. Howe. It might be some truth to that. We don't just need a uh, lie detector test. We need a DNA test. You said you ain't my dad. And when I looked in your eyes, I kind of believed you. So who is my dad? My mama's dad, she can't tell me. A DNA test to tell but us a everything. DNA test, a will. DNA test tell us everything because God can be her father after that. Because I don't even move like you niggas. And if it comes if it comes out that you knew you wasn't her dad and you took her anyway, woo-wee, that civil suit just jumped a whole bunch. 
And I still don't want your money. We're going to donate all that shit to charity, poor ass nigga. Every scrunion. Every penny, boy. We're going to donate it to charity. Yeah. Yeah. That, now, now I would think that I'm really crazy. Now, now I really would think I'm crazy. But y'all need to go back and ask the question, why? Why are y'all doing what you're doing? Then, once you answer that question, you'll know who you work for. Then you know nothing you do or work over this way. All I'm trying to do is raise my own family. I'm a working man. I got two degrees. I could be doing all kinds of things. I could be trying to look good. <laughs> trying to look good. No, I'd rather try to be good. But they all about an image. Yeah, man. But your image thing ain't going to work, bro, because the, the reality of it is you put your sister's life in danger and your daddy let him do it. And your uncle let him do it. Y'all yeah. talking about her behind her back like some bitches, like the bitches y'all are. The men, the women in y'all family got more balls than the men. Hands down. Hands down. <laughs> you feel me? And y'all out there fronting the snot. You know what happens to a balloon when you stick it with a needle? It busts. See? So you're going to have to provide that proof, bro. Because I'm tired of you saying that. And if you didn't say it, we don't give a fuck. We ain't heard from you. Silence speaks Volumes. infinite. Volumes. So I suggest you find somebody else to play with. Like your children. Because they need you. Instead of you trying to sacrifice them. And get for your, what? And get yourself killed. Travel state to state. And get yourself killed. It looks like you're walking suicide to me. You 40 years old, flashing money, rap, rolling around with niggas talking about bars. Sandy bars. <laughs> bars. Are you serious? And your daddy's Frank Bank. That must make him real fucking proud. But we was reading the scriptures today, boy. It spoke volumes, man. See, first we read it and, and look at ourselves. First we, first we read the word and take a look at ourselves before we start taking a look at anybody else. See, y'all don't like to look in the mirror. Oh, that's why vampires don't have a reflection. So, let's get down to some science then. Are there children in y'all family that's by other siblings? <laughs> uh, is there ancestry? Is there children that don't know their dads? For real? Like, are there children in y'all family by other siblings? Yeah. Answer that question. Answer that question. And who is my dad? Answer that question. Yeah, I thought we was done. If you ain't my dad. Yeah, you up the you up the river without a paddle. So you better be. Able might to be some truth in that. <laughs> you, better, I, you better hope that money can. Because I ain't you like y'all. You better hope that money can paddle you up a river. Because you ain't gonna have no paddle. You gonna be on that canoe boy by yourself. Because see, everybody gonna have to turn their back on you. And he said Ashanti's his only child. That's what he said. She she got the most balls in y'all family. <laughs> for real, for real. Shanti walked up in this motherfucking house like a man. She was gonna take her ass whooping if it came down to it. So did your other sisters. But you hid behind them. Yeah, but she had behind Shaquita. See, Shaquita put her daughter in the front. You feel me? She ain't thinking for herself. Her mama thinks for her. My sister don't even know how. She's never thought for herself. They never gave her the opportunity to think for herself. She's a walking AI. Yeah, and Ashanti. You know what I'm saying? You hollering back. You scared of me. I'm a, uh, what she call me? A wild Africa. card. I'm going to do something to you, you in Africa. Africa. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to tell you why, though. Let me, let me eat with this right here. I'm going to tell you why, though. Is it because you did something to her mama? She put <laughs> Yeah, you sent her to my house to face me. You know so, Ashanti, you know what I'm saying? Why Shaquita sent you here? She sacrificed you. She sacrificed you. <laughs> on, a, on a mission. On a mission. And I'm thinking, you really here on some sister shit. <laughs> and then you leave my house and then gonna say, oh, I'm scared. You might do something to me. You might bloop out and do something to me. You Let me ask you, Ashanti. You wasn't the least bit worried. Because right, y'all saying all this shit about me, and ain't no validity to it. When have I ever put my hands on you? If you scared, 
that I'm going to bloop out and put my hand. I ain't never even, I, the person I should put my hands on is your fucking mammy. And I ain't never put my, fault her back. See, you ought to be thanking me for not turning into her and taking that shit out on you like she took that shit out on me. See? So that shows I'm nothing like y'all. Ashanti, I fucking basically raised you. When you get out of line and shit, I moved down here. Your mammy was calling me like I was your fucking mama. I ain't your fucking mama. And I never wanted to be. And you, and you keep trying to spin a narrative. Oh, when I was little, my sister was mean to me. Blah, blah, blah. Woo, woo, woo. I wasn't fucking mean to you. I was she a was fucking a teenager. teenager. <laughs> they had to watch you and didn't get no compensation. None. I have a, a roof. Shelter and food, and everybody. You should be grateful for that. And Ashanti, no, for that, real, for she real. Paid for that. I paid for that. She paid for her. Roof, I paid for and your food. ticket. Yeah. I'm paying for your ticket. Right now. But right no longer, now. But no longer. Come on. And no you don't have no respect for me. No longer. None. Say, it. say no longer. But no longer. Yeah. We're going to break that. Curse. No longer. You living off the blood money from my mama. How about that? And So and, who's the loose cannon? And some mirrors. Blood, sweat, and tears, and I say yours too. Blood, sweat, and tears. You got a black car. You got y'all done. And they work Come y'all. on, man. They worked out. Listen, they got life insurance from the mama. I don't care how much it was, Mr. Frank. Don't put no. You keep throwing money. You keep throwing money up like people gave you something anyway. You ungrateful motherfucker. They got life insurance for my mom's death. They got social security checks for my mom's death. They worked us. And no telling what other type of tax credits and benefits they've gotten off of us. So Ashanti, you're riding my train. And you're being very disrespectful. But it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Because God is the ultimate judge. I'm not judging you. I'm stating facts. And I'm going to move out the way and let God do his job. But y'all going to quit fucking lying on me. Because y'all got all the money. Y'all got black cards and, you know what I'm saying, and fancy vehicles and houses and real estate and all that. Why the fuck y'all jealous of me? Why y'all got to throw mud on my fucking name? Y'all got everything. Y'all didn't oh. All she had left was her integrity. But y'all got to take that. Yeah. Trick but y'all no ain't good. got no happiness. Trick no good. Y'all ain't got no joy. Y'all ain't got no peace. See, y'all ain't got the things that are essential that's not tangible. Because if your ass can't touch it or spend it, then you don't know what the fuck it is. But what it was, Ashanti, and what it was, Anshay, and what it was, Lil Frankie, is that your sister was showing you love. But because you couldn't fucking spend it, you couldn't see it. Or you couldn't use it. And Ashanti... You ought to be thanking me instead of telling me to get over it. You ought to be thanking me like, thank you, sis. You ain't let nobody molest me. You feel me? You didn't have to go through that or shit. you didn't molest me. We keep it real. She didn't touch you. So why? Why? Why do y'all have to keep spinning those false narratives about me? If I ain't got shit, you know what I'm saying? You left Lexington. And I left Lex and I left y'all alone. Why y'all got to keep throwing dirt on my name? That's not cool. I get more respect from the community than I get from my own damn family. But what y'all can't do, see, is I done helped a whole lot of children and elderly people. You know what I'm saying? I don't need y'all to validate me. I don't need nobody to validate me. But I got living proof of how I've helped the community. Children that were babies that are adults now, you know what I'm saying? They can vouch for me. Elderly people, they can vouch for me. So, once again, trick no good. And I ain't got a lot of time to spend on this. But I just wanted to come on here and address that. Because we breaking generational curses, man. One day at a time. So y'all gonna have to provide some proof about the allegations. Ashanti, I got it in my phone. You said I'm a wild card and you scared I might do something to you. 
So show the proof. I show you said I'm lying. Show the proof. Lil Frankie, you saying I told on you. Show the proof. Show the fucking proof. I might do something to you and I've never touched you, hit you. The only thing I've done is protected you. Yeah, she tried to breastfeed you when your daddy left you in a car with her as children for hours. So what y'all not going to keep doing? <laughs> with no food. Who does that? It's throwing dirt on my name, man. Who does that? Why well, you think he favored you, Ashanti? It was you and Samira was in that car together. <laughs> think about that. Why you think you're being favored? You and Samira was in a car that he parked somewhere, went and did whatever he did for hours. You was in that car too. And I'm 11 years old. You was in that car with her. Remember that. So, you know what I'm saying, Ashanti? You ain't nothing. You was a produced from a business deal, a business marriage. You weren't produced out of love. And they put your ass straight to work in a different way. See, they worked us, and now they working you. But ultimately, I think that all of them are work, trying to work him. And Shaquita. See, what y'all don't realize, this is y'all own children going to take y'all down. Y'all think Samira's trying to take y'all down. She ain't trying to take you down. She's trying to save you, even after y'all abused her. Y'all didn't help her, but she's trying to help you. But y'all won't see this as help. I got away from their asses. Y'all won't see this as help. And we don't give a fuck. And what they do? What does Shanti do? Ran down here. You feel me? What Anshe do? Keep calling me. What little Frankie do? Keep my name in his mouth. So y'all better find something else to do. For real, for real. Because where y'all at? I got people that really, really know my character. And we'll fight to the bone gristle. To the bone gristle. You know, that's that's why they will fight for the to the bone gristle. Because I have integrity. And my my record, it checks out. So since you saying it don't, provide some truth to the provide some proof and show the truth. If not, Shut up and keep my name out y'all's mouth. Because see, what I feel like y'all doing is trying to paint the same narrative y'all did about my mama. Yeah, that's what y'all did to her. Mm -hmm. Because she didn't want to play alone. Like my wife don't want to play alone. And y'all kept fucking with her until she had no choice but to tell on y'all and y'all crooked ass family. Yeah, that part. Now, I don't know all the family, so I ain't gonna speak everything I know. <laughs> not that what I insinuate, or not what I think, but the shit that I know. You know, quite possibly, you know what I'm saying? Y'all needed to make her be quiet. Because the truth of the matter is, y'all don't have no dirt on me. And if you do, Bring it to the forefront. But if you don't, your ass is grass. Now those are the gangster rules that you say you play by. And we ain't gonna have to touch you. It's gonna be one of your own people. And I'm still praying for y'all. Not all y'all. Y'all better change. You know what I'm saying? But Boy, I'm praying for you. Yeah, you better change, bro. That's the only chance you got. That's the only chance y'all got, man. For real. Better repent, and redeem, and atone. And then they won't say, oh, why you doing it like that? Why you putting, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Why you broadcasting? <laughs> no, 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 this is what they didn't say. They didn't say that she's lying. That's Anshay. That's specifically on you, Anshay. <laughs> they worried about why she's doing it. Not, not how she's doing it, all that, they worry about that she's doing it, period. Mm -hmm. I say, you're the only one lying because you clearly on audio saying opposite of what you're saying now. So we, that's not even for debate. 
So once again, happy birthday, little Frankie. You know what I'm saying? But you run around telling everybody I got you knocked. Boy, you better produce some deposition. You better produce emotional discovery. Because you slandering my name, putting dirt on my fucking name. Nigga, I work hard for my integrity. Hard. And everybody in the community that you in, they know me. So you're going to have to prove that I got you knocked. And once again, who goes to prison for three of them things and only do two years? So who's the snitch? I told you don't fuck around. You know what I'm saying? It's so crazy because it'd be like, you know what I'm saying? If I if I never did tell y'all, y'all probably wouldn't even know that I'm from the hood. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't glorify that shit like that. For real. For what? For what? And if she dated hood niggas, it's because her daddy set the precedent. But you ain't even a hood nigga. You're not even a hood nigga. You grew up in the sur suburbs. Both of your parents was in the army. You know what I'm saying? You don't even you didn't even have to be out there. The only reason why you out there is because of image. See, if I if I really, really wanted to get down with the get down, <sighs> but I don't, because that's not me. That's not my path. That's not what I want to do. But if I did, best believe I would be damn good at it. <laughs> way better than you, bruh. Shit, way better than all of them. Especially your daddy. Oh, is it your daddy? Shit, I don't know. Shit, I don't know if that nigga's my daddy. He needs to provide some proof on that. Because for real. Oh, that's going to come out of the civil trial. For real, for real. for a DNA test straight up. I think, <laughs> he, I think he bought me and then sold me. And then tried to <laughs> buy me back. <laughs> yeah, get that DNA test on. Bro. So, yeah, I need that DNA test. And I need a lie detector test. And little Frankie, I need that deposition. You're going to have to provide some proof. You run around telling everybody I told on you, nigga, that's my character, nigga. That's that's my character. That's me. And on gangster shit, that's her life. You put her life in jeopardy. Oh, boy. I'm going to keep it real. So once again, Frank Jr., you better find somebody else to play with. Like your children, bruh. What grown man will leave their children in the state that they in and think that shit is cool? No wonder you got the name you got, Frank Jr. And like I said, Big Bank Frank, your pappy, he said he's ashamed of you. He said he wish you'd change your fucking name. That's what he told me. And you look up to this nigga. You want to be just like him. You know what I'm saying? But really, I think you really want to take his head off. For real. Because <laughs> you can't love and hate somebody at the same time. See, the reason why he hang with all them Detroit niggas is because his daddy was never really there for him. For real. See, his daddy set the example. He got a bunch of hood niggas hanging around here. All he, he want is a around. family. You know That's I mean? it. You, you do the same thing. His daddy did the same thing. Have a bunch of killers and crazy niggas around him. To do the dirty work. But that ain't about that life. Lil' Frankie is not about that life. Trust me. And see, before we start naming the people y'all fuck with, you know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying now? See, that'll put you in hot water real fast. Because we know names we should know. I told you. I'll find out whatever I fucking need to find out. And you niggas hearing this, I know y'all gonna watch the video too. What up? Shit. What up, though? <laughs> what up? <laughs> Shit. So, you know, I, this ain't going to be no long video. You know what I'm saying? This is something short, quick, a happy birthday video to my brother. LP, OG, OG, LP. You, you know what I'm saying? Y'all life around. We're going to have y'all running for y'all life. This is a gift of truth from your big sister. Because you could change your life around. What he call me? He called me Sister Soldier. Yeah, you know what time it is. I thought I told you, nigga. Keep my fucking name out your mouth. You been spinning this false narrative for the last 
three years, four years. You know what I'm saying? And it looked good because I did move to Florida. You know what I'm saying? So we could look like I maybe told on you and ran and shit. But no, nah, nigga. If anything, you told on your motherfucking self with your messy ass. You the messiest mother I know when it comes to taking care of business. Do you want to say I told on you? Nigga, if anything, you told on your motherfucking self. So I got children to make sure I see y'all to school. You know what I'm saying? I'm here unlike you, bro. I'm here with my children. What's your, who, where are your children at? Who you doing this for? If you ain't doing it for them, who you doing it for? The devil? So, yeah, I'm not even hurt no more. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm ashamed. For real. Like, that's the legacy y'all want? The, your legacy is your children. You niggas live for self. Selfish asses. Every time we go to a hall family reunion, you know what I'm saying? All y'all want to do is honor the, each other. The brothers and the sisters. All y'all do is honor each other. You know what I'm saying? Giving each other plaques and shit. We got to come to every fucking family reunion to sit and watch y'all honor each other. Are we so tired of that shit? You know what I'm saying? We got to watch y'all honor all the seeds of Richard Hall. Every time. We sick of y'all. Y'all don't even honor y'all legacy. You know what I'm saying? Family reunions and shit get together. It's supposed to be where the old and the young, you know what I'm saying, get together and meet. You feel me? But really, really, y'all supposed to be honoring these children. We got to honor y'all every fucking time. That shit is ridiculous. Y'all so far up my dad's ass crack, man. Waiting for a fucking breadcrumb. But like I said, you know, I got children to nurture and care for. So this is just a quick happy birthday, specifically for my brother. Yeah, I'm on that, bruh. So yeah, anybody see OGLP? Share this video with them and tell them that his sister's looking for that proof. Because that's a strong allegation. That's a strong accusation saying that your sister's a snitch. Nigga, I work hard for my integrity. And you know, that's the one thing I have. I might not have money and cars and houses and all that glamour shit that y'all got. But my integrity, yeah. So anyways, everybody have a good day. Y'all see my brother, y'all tell him happy birthday. But y'all make sure y'all give him this birthday present from his sister. All right? Oh, and yeah, optimal health as well. I'm out. I got children to take care of. A legacy. <laughs> yeah. That part. Peace.